like the Boomich is playing well, but it sets a bit of a worrying tone, especially because on the other side of the cards, it felt like we had everyone showing up on Vitality. Yeah, even a new boy on the block, even Mizuta looking really, really good here for Vitality. And their debut at Dreamhack Masters Spring 2020. Now fast play out long. It's a T-side start for Vitality on the pick of Na'Vi, but don't be fooled. This is a map that Vitality are going to be happy to hear. Electronic getting one, dinked in the process. Bomb is outside of B with only one man there. Two tags have come through from these Glocks, putting players very low. Make that three as Flamey gets hit inside of B. They're not going to commit with the bomb. Look at that rotate from Na'Vi. They see the bomb in B. They almost draw everyone over, but Flamey makes the call. Guys, no one's committing, no one's in, so hang around, and they will. Zai Wu will hang Electronic out to dry in the middle area. The bomb going back up Catwalk. Boomich is here with Simple, who was tagged up from earlier. Vitality just can't seem to make up their mind. They are considering every option, every opportunity, and every flank from Na'Vi, none of which are coming through. Na'Vi don't know where to rotate because this has been so back and forth. They've seen the bomb on both sides of the map. So four and four right now with low health. Vitality get a group Catwalk, all armored up, no util. Got to make the most with what they got. Run boost over for Shock. Here he is, flying onto the scene. It's the birthday boy himself. Simple, still inside of this site now, trying to offer up some resistance, but he's not able to do so. Ooh, Boomich. Woo, hounding down that kill onto Boomich. And now Perfecto offered a couple of fights here in CT. Vitality delaying this bomb plant in favor of just taking the engagements. And they've done that a, a couple of times now. I do love it. They put this in a three on two. I mean, I still I love it, right? Like, I've only seen it work thus far. I yeah. imagine if, you know, they go peeking into Perfecto there and he kills two out of three of them, maybe I don't love it so much. But. <laughs> Hey, I mean, if it's working for Vitality, it's working. And it's left all of this onto Flamey on just five points of health. This should be an undoable round. And it certainly looks like it. Vitality just don't give him a fight. They don't give him a way to get back in. And so they find a pistol here. Pretty sure that puts him at three for three in pistol rounds in this series. So, yeah. Yeah, bit of a uh, bit of a struggle in these pistol rounds for Na'Vi. It's kind of ridiculous how many early dinks they land with the Glocks, right? So it's like no matter where Vitality end up going, they know that Na'Vi attacked on both sides of the map, and and the retaker play retake players will be tagged as well. So good stuff for Vitality. Even a tag down the doors finds Flamey with a bit of a damage. Lots of Mac 10s here for Vitality. Bit of a gamble in a map like Dust 2 to run these weapons. You can already see the, the effect of that. Simple getting overwhelmed in lower, almost hits a scout shot. Could have taken one down with him. Apex already falling here for Vitality. So four and four right now. Simple scout has been lost. Flamey does have one of his own as Na'Vi brought up. Kind of the same on Nuke in their CT side force by round. Electronic, he's hungry for kills. Zywu spotted the barrel and Flamey's baiting them in, but Zywu will just shut him out of the round. Wall banging onto Flamey, who was tagged from that earlier scout shot. Keep that in mind, hence the one shot. And now with only one man on B, Electronic might hear this information. He's hearing the bomb go towards the tunnels, but that Molotov, oh, that is going to spread. That is surely going to spread, and he has to run through it after it's fully bloomed. Takes a lot of damage, but does get a kill. And now Vitality looks to hit this B bomb site. They need to go fast. Yeah, they really do. Electronic is here again, up close with this CZ, and he's got uh -oh. a knockdown. Electronic's doing it all, and they do manage to Ooh. mop him up, but Boomich comes in and solidifies the round for Na'Vi. They're going to answer straight back with this force fight. Electronic does a stellar job of getting away with so many kills in this round, running through this Molotov that spreads to him in mid, and then following up with a second, despite being so low while this is going on. Reinvestment back in for Vitality as these four spy wars are set to continue until one of these teams win two in a row. Start to sneak up here through Catwalk. This is just looking like a cat execute for Vitality. They've only got this one smoke on Zywu and a flash as well. He's going to throw that smoke close to allow this cross wide into uh, into Catwalk. All time nade for Na'Vi. Gets some damage off. Simple oh, on rotation. Okay. And that's a lot of red. Na'Vi, great utility usage in this round. Leaves it all onto Shocks. With the Deagle. 
And Simple looking like his only little present, only little gift in this round. No one else is going to give anything over. Electronic just hidden behind this smoke. Shock's actually falling back, and Electronic going to catch him on the cross. Na'Vi, I'll find the conversion. They take two in a row, and now these uh, these four spies will come to a close. That grenade was unbelievable from Simple. I mean, the first one does a bit of damage, but he tags all five players with it. And, well, that will certainly assist in getting these kills up the catwalk vitality. Already onto an eco. This is feeling feeling like a better map for Na'Vi, as it should be with it being their pick, right? Back in control of the money early on, despite losing the pistol round, and Vitality being put down to just glocks in this one means Na'Vi can build a bit of a buffer uh, in both rounds and economy. Vitality just have to take a breather here. The real investments past that P250 on shocks. Gonna give it a go in this low economy round, but not holding out for a whole lot. Shocks aside, screw it. We'll just go dry. We don't need a run boost. Luckily, there's no warp there anyway. That was already cleared out by the fact that Apex came from lower. Just going to jump out into middle. Vitality might just run the gauntlet. Apex alone as the rest of this T side go up. Cap, they get dispersed when the Molotov split into two. Dinks come through. Zywu with a Glock kill, the grenade, and the bullet to the face will certainly end his life. And luckily, because of that Molotov, the rest of Vitality are late to the party. Simple's actually already gotten on top of the site after Electronic's death, and he's being supported. He's just going to reload in their face, knowing Boomich can do the rest, and he'll make that money with the SMG, even saving the AK as well. Very successful round for Na'Vi in terms of money. And, well, talking of money, Vitality, they've got a little bit more to spare. They'll be buying up in this round and trying to get back on the board. Yeah, we got an AWP on Simple, but we don't have one for Zywu just yet. So, right now, Na'Vi, they can really look to get some usage out of Simple with his big green gun. And a Ooh. fast play out through long, Zywu. Picking up the pace, gets in the face of Boomich. Is equalized out courtesy of Electronic, the second man that wasn't long, and he's able to fall back as well. Now, Simple gets boosted up into Ooh. the site to keep an eye on this pit position, and Zaiwu is going to set himself up down in the pit. It's Zaiwu's AK versus okay. Simple's AWP, and Zaiwu wins it. The head to head of the two players that we wanted to see this AWP battle go down between. Well, Zaiwu doesn't even need it. I was thinking, like, if they put Zaiwu down in the pit, that's kind of nuts, because it's common to do that with your AWPer, but in this round, he doesn't have an AWP, but he still just nails the kill. That's a nice kill from Perfecto, Ooh. but it could be a little ill-timed, because in going for it, he's given up this B site. And so Vitality, they might be a man down, but they've secured control of B. And they will get this bomb planted. It's not really the most ideal tunnels plot, so our PK might have to come back. And the fact that he gets that kill is going to help out massively. Now he's freed up to come into this site, they're going to worry about tunnels a little Spoke bit less. And that's, yeah, that's a little bit gnarly. That's the missed smoke from Flamey. Molly's into the site, but Na'Vi, they haven't made this easy for themselves. They've only got window to go through. RPK is holding on. Mops up the first and the second as well. Three kills for the tank in that round and a second on the board for Vitality. It goes from a three on two where, you know, maybe Na'Vi have a bit of a chance but they give up the site as a result. They smoke themselves off at the door. It yeah. was just kind of one unfortunate thing after the other. I think I think that smoke actually did land and it went deeper, like rebounded and went deep. But RPK also had one, so I think he put it in at the same time, right. which which smoked them off because there were two smokes in the door. One was a little deeper to allow Na'Vi to push through it, but they didn't push through it, obviously, because RPK also dropped his. So, yeah, I mean, not, not the end of the world, but... Like you said, Na'Vi in control, getting aggressive, three on two, and then that B site is strikes again, Harry. It denies those CTs around, as it often does. And I like the fact that Na'Vi, you know, very confident in that round, very aggressive, electronic pushing top mid and clearing up the long players, but Na'Vi needs something that they can repeat, something that can be consistent here on the CT side. And knowing as well with how dire, how desperate that T-side was on Nuke, right? One round in the entire half after getting seven CT rounds. Obviously, Dust2 is a very different map, one where Na'Vi's individuals can, can shine and you don't have to be as technical or as complicated, but it doesn't bode well the fact that Vitality absolutely blew Na'Vi out of the water in that second half. And we'll have to see if that holds the same weight here.
See, Vitality would have picked the CT side, or the T side rather, for this map being at Na'Vi's pick and for good effect. But right right now, Simple's on the AWP and Flamey is alongside him. They're going to back up a catwalk after getting one kill. Do they realize the Shox is late to this position as well? He's going to be coming in on a lurk. Vitality putting pressure on the A bomb site. Here's Shox waiting for the right time to strike. They've got grenades in their hands. No one's even considering it. And Shox can shut this entire round down on his own. The boost denied. And Shox with two. That's a great lurk from Shoxy. Boom, it's coming in with one on the CZ. He spots a player on long. He actually has a drop on Zywoo with a quick scout turn around. Zywoo takes him down and Na'Vi with two in the CT spawn and no kit are attempting a retake. Yeah, we got big flamer with the AWP. Let's see what he can do. Arriving now on the scene and does best Zywoo. Has Perfecto alongside him as they try and move up. But both these players in the site, they oh. offer up fights to Perfecto hey. and he nails them both. DPU is going to come on in. Yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know why Vitality run Catwalk. Maybe they're just looking for fights and want to trade that kill, but the bomb's down for them. They are up against an AWP in the post part. There's really not a lot Na'Vi can do in terms of getting up the ramp. And if Vitality just set up a, a you know, double peak there towards ramp side and stay in the site, that's fine. Added to the fact that, you know, them crossing Cat isn't going to save the day there. The bomb's planted in the site. And so moving away from it is just going to make it harder if Na'Vi try and tap it. So. Yeah, Vitality, they try and take fights and they come to regret it. It's going to be a retake for Na'Vi in a very important round for them to break Vitality right back. Mizuta, Hero AK in this one. It's going to be pistols around. He runs out long and gets a pick. If he doubles it, that'd be excellent. But one is enough for Vitality. At least keeps Na'Vi on this side of the map while B-Rush comes through. Flamey missing his shot off of the flashbang. So we've picked up an orb and that is not what you oh, want to give dear. this man. They've given him it. Given him his power, Zaiwu flashed off the angle, and that gives up this B site. But Vitality, they go back now, and, uh -oh. and I like this decision, right? They're not in a position now where they've got to keep this pace high. Mitch all the way back to T spawn. This is an awkward one, and Zaiwu taking his sweet old time to line that shot up does deal with Boomich. Vector's pushed the extremities of B, and Deep Smoke's in the tunnels. Falls back into the site. That, see that there? That's so ballsy from Zywu to walk that smoke. How on earth has he got the read that Perfecto isn't playing this? Back in the site, Perfecto is going to nail the shot anyway to Team Ace for Na'Vi. Zywu is feeling very, very confident today, though, and that scares me, Hugo. Yes. He's a pretty scary guy to see bring him with confidence in this server. Reinvestment going to come through for Vitality, but it's not ideal. You know, you're lacking a gun on Masuta. You don't have this off in the hands of Zaiwu. I say that like he's not been performing with the AK or like the AWP would be a significant increase. But my word, like he's been nailing every shot ever anyway. Fast play up through Cap. Team Vitality, they grab this control and actually it's a PT drop for Masuta, but he doesn't survive the journey. Mid to B split attempted and it does not go well. A very quick, clean round for Na'Vi. Six now on the board. And these last two going their way, they fill up a bit of a bank, which is nice for Na'Vi. It means they're not in this position where they can just get reset. And with another eco round coming in for Team Vitality, there's another chance that yet more money to be made here for Na'Vi. Yeah, I mean, there's no way Vitality are going to get away with those rounds where you don't have utility, right? And you, you try and do anything, really. On Dust 2, you need util, and they try and go for that fast cat split into CT, pushing mid, but Na'Vi, they can fight from B, they can fight from A ramp. There's just nothing getting in the way. You need that smoke, and without it, Na'Vi just keep up appearances. A good CT side. Vitality, again, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of Na'Vi's T side earlier today. If Vitality just put up a fight here in this first half, five, six, seven rounds, they can certainly still 2 0 this series. Na'Vi not wanting it to happen, though. Coming alive in the second. Simples on the Yorp once again. Flaming back to a rifle, probably a safe decision considering he has been solo B at times, but Perfecto has come to fill that void on his own, leaving Flamey to middle. Simple orb watching long, but Vitality on pistols, they don't play any spawns, they just go very, very slowly through lower, out top mid, and trying to take control of the middle area. No one from Na'Vi contesting, in fact, quite the opposite, they're very, very far back. Flamey's watching mid from B doors, and the closest catwalk control is electronic on the site.
it's another attempt at running this mid to be this time with only pistols and this time with the smokes actually down for vitality perfecto got to hold on to this site and while he does put up some pretty decent numbers three kills in the round oh what might be enough simple landing that no scope onto apex as he tries to cut down these rotations now zywoo's retrieved himself an m4 but a 1v3 versus electronic simple and booming this is certainly not an easy round for Zaiwu, and it's not going to present itself. Look how how hankering he is for fights there, Harry. He's just crossing doors. Like uh, for, for for reference, anyone there in Zaiwu's position should not be crossing doors because you're so available for not only info for Navi, so they know which side of the site you're on, but also just an orb scoped up on the door can kill you. Zaiwu knows all that. He's just swinging. He's just jiggling. He wants a fight, but uh, they get delivered to him in a big way. A quick kill, and well, perfecto. A nice hold from him, but it's not enough for the round, unfortunately. Or, no, sorry, it is, rather. It's not, uh, not enough for the hold. It's a plant for Vitality, but it is enough for the round. Yeah, that could have definitely gone out of hand if Apex did whiff that shot with the P250. One and seven right now. That is unfortunate. If he drops him with the AWP, that would have been a lot more doable for Vitality. But now they've got to rely on their own AWPs. I woo in the molly, losing half his health and getting nothing from it. Na'Vi, don't peek long until that molly's already expired and they throw in a new one as well. Electronic playing in a very dangerous position. Spots by a deep in the middle, but doesn't realize Mizuta's close on Cat. And I love that reaction, Mizuta. A confident play. Something that, uh, you know, I, I feel like maybe if it, when he jo first joined this roster, he wouldn't have gone for something like that. But, you know, already a, a few months inside of this team and he's realizing what he can and can't get away with. Hounds down Electronic and looks to follow up with a flashbang. Apex tags down Perfecto, but won't finish the kill from the CT spawn. And Na'Vi hold on to at least a 4-on-4 four four in this round. Yeah, Vitality going to look to lean back in towards these cat plays. And I like this decision from Vitality. That they, they've already dealt with Electronic over here at the A-bomb site, so they know it's going to be a little bit weaker. And with these mid-to-bees, they just haven't ever survived the journey. So, back into this A-bomb site now. Perfecto going to try and hold this one down from the ramp. He does have Boomich back at long, but no flashbangs available to help Perfecto out of this one. He's got to win it all on his own, and he wasn't able to do that. Boomich is a bit of an unknown Ooh. entity, but Masuta flips on back round and deals with him moments before he was going to mop up Shox. So Masuta saves Shoxi's life. And for Simple and Flamey, double AWP in the retake. Both of these AWPs, by the way, were over towards B, which felt like a bit of a, a curious decision from Na'Vi. Simple was trying to hold on to mid. Oh, Flamey had pushed the tunnels, but yeah, this is never going to be a retake you attempt if you are Na'Vi. Yeah, You've I... also got a huge lead and plenty of money, so at this point, you know, like, you can afford to, to let these rounds slip through the net. You're not that worried just yet if you're Na'Vi. Yeah, you definitely make a good point when you talk about where these orbs are positioned. Like, you know, if, if Na'Vi want to run double orb, they should be running standard spots. Like, Simple Lotto should be always long, watching the cat take from car, able to put up, you know, two, maybe three kills on the defense, knowing Simple as Vitality run up catwalk. It's a pretty common occurrence. And, you know, Flamey orping B, supporting middle, that's pretty standard as well. But he's been caught out in the B tunnels with this orb before. I, I don't know how keen I even am for the double orb on the CT side here for Na'Vi. I, I feel like, you know, put, putting Flamey on just an AK is, is a far safer decision right now, given how Vitality are playing. But, I mean, the rounds are there, right? The results are there. Na'Vi are in control right now, but let's see if that remains the same. Simple spotting mid. Doesn't realize they're close below the door, but no one pushing through that smoke. It's safe to hold the catwalk. So we're going to pop a flash from Azuta out middle. There he goes. Nothing to be seen, though. Simple playing very safe. Play me on long on the AWP. And simple supporting B maybe has a bit of a feeling that that's where this bomb is going in this round. And I wouldn't blame him, judging by the setup of Vitality, holding long passive, yet to take the catwalk with Tunnels control as well. Vitality running a very slow round on this T side, defaulting, waiting for Na'Vi to give them picks. But if there's one thing that has been clear, Na'Vi have never overstepped in these 5 on 5s. They have been good at finding gaps and exploiting aggression when Vitality make their, you know, make their play clear to Na'Vi. But in these five on fives, it's very rare to see Na'Vi, you know, run and give Vitality a kill here. So Vitality, they're going to have to work for it. They're going to have to look for a pick. And Shox will do so towards CT, dropping into the smokes, taking the spawn and clearing this out for a mid to B play. RPK and Masuta, they've opened up. They've secured this B site and Shox is still holding on for the rotation. Now Flamey's trying to hop over the top for a bit of info, a bit of a look in. 
and he will get that trade. Boomich and Flamey left up in this retake, and Boomich coming in from T-Spawn. Is he going to be ready for Masuta holding this tunnel's position? Masuta certainly looks ready for Boomich, but isn't able to connect the shot. So Zai Wu, and asking him to step up once again. He's going to go in search of this tunnel's player. Ooh. And this is actually pretty nice for Zai Wu, because now he's going to get the information that tunnels is clear and should have the read that they re rerouted down into mid. They're both coming into this site together. And Zai Wu isolating the first lap. Ooh, Molotov on the ball. Yeah. It's missed the mark, but this is still going to be very, very close. Boomich, he might oh, win it. just have it. No, <laughs> off by a millisecond. Yeah. Team Vitality, they Narrowly get that round on the board. Yeah, that's uh that, that's a dangerous post part for Zywu and he knows it. That's why he's so quick to get the Molly out. It's a bit of an error because Navi are just swinging to trade that kill and he could have just won the fight, but he knows that you know if he takes that fight and he loses it, that's the round done. If he hits the Molotov, regardless of whether he lives or dies, he's won the round. And well, he misses the fight and he misses the Molly, and he still wins the round just from you know stalling it out. So I guess, you know, it was a match made in heaven there for Zaiwu, but even so, very close retake for Na'Vi. I think grouping in the, in the middle area definitely took too long there instead of just retaking from tunnels, but I can see why they didn't want to give Zaiwu those one-on-ones. He is lethal. And in this round, no exception, trading the uh, catwalk push from his uh, electronic through the smoke does find Mizuta, unlucky for him, but luckily Apex and Shox will lock in the round for Vitality with ease. Five up on this T side, Harry. They've begun to build, and now Na'Vi, they need to knock it down. And this is why things get dangerous for Na'Vi, right? Because like we were saying a few rounds ago, well, they've got this huge lead, they're not worried yet, you know, like things are still looking good, but yeah, now it's 7-5 and Na'Vi, they come in with this buy, but they're, they're staring down the barrel of this situation where once again, if they lose this round, they've got nothing. And, and this does one of two things, right? Not only does it set Vitality up nicely for the future uh, and puts a lot of waiting on this round, but it, it maybe like makes La Na'Vi have to lean towards kind of safer plays towards the end Ooh, of the round. And Masuta, wow. wow, I'm love I'm loving watching him yeah. at Catwalk. He is the cat king, Masuta. Meow. This man's got nine lives and we still have yet to see him use them all up. He's ready to go in towards this A site. Now simple holding from the cross. You need nine lives against this man. Maybe not. RPK turns out a tank is enough to deal with him. Flamey and Perfecto left in the two Ooh. on four. Shox does get full blinded off that flash and maybe offers up a kill, but instead okay. he dishes out the pain high in supply from the catwalk. Six on the board for Vitality and that dreaded situation that we talked about involving the money. Well, now it's more real than ever. Everyone dies, there's no saves and to make matters worse, four players stay alive on the Vitality side of things. So they are now solidified till the end of this half. Vitality are fine. Yeah. Obscene that Mizuta checks the smoke for the close player. Like he kills on Catwalk and he still looks at the corner. Why would there be, be a play there? You're wondering. Well, Mizuta is always ready. And yeah, honestly, like again, I wanna I wanna give this guy props because as a, a very inexperienced individual at this level, joining Vitality at the start of the year, man, like you know, he looked fine. He looked like he was learning uh, in the road to Rio in Pro League, but right now. In this game, he looks like he's fully in command. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he is taking a lot of liberties. Not, you know, sitting back and, and, and doing what Vitality tell him in the sense of just like trading kills or, or being the second man in. No, this guy is like making plays, running through smokes, and, and making Na'Vi look funny. So this is really, really nice to see from Mizuta. And if we have another, you know, French prodigy on our hands here for Vitality, that's only going to make this team, you know, even more threatening on the world stages. I think it's very easy to sleep on this roster because, oh, you know, Zai Wu show, ha 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 ha. But the more we see from Vitality, the more that we see that these guys can perform without Zai Wu dropping 40 kills. And that is so great. Flamey, one for one in the middle, finds Mizuta. Bomb heading B here. Perfecto, though, with a D up close. Two body shots is all he needs. And now the bomb can be dropped, but he doesn't see Zai Wu behind the pillar. Oh, dear. You hate to see it. Zaiwu techs him down and Electronic in a one on two with no armor and no kit. The second this bomb is planted, all the chances are out the window. 
Man, this is, this is an unreal turnaround for Vitality and a gut-wrenching feeling for Na'Vi. Now, obviously, right, this was just like that partial investment, but they still get it close, and that's going to leave you feeling a little sour. Seven now on the board for Vitality in a game where Na'Vi had themselves a five-round lead at one point in time. They were up seven to two. Well, it's, it's going to feel like a bit of a distant memory now, isn't it? As Vitality tying this one up. This saved AK on Electronic is actually pretty nice as well because it's going to free them up to drop over the simples that they still have, like everything they could possibly need in this round, even an orb, should they choose to. And I imagine they choose to. Yeah. Why wouldn't you really at this point? Uh, but even so, Harry, it's kind of similar to Nuke, you know, competitive start, Navi looking okay, and then Vitality just starts storming uh, into the lead. And you know, even though this is equal again, a T side for Navi. <clears throat> It left a lot to be desired on Nuke. And even though Dust 2 is a different ball game, I mean, you're still playing with the ball at the end of the day. So, a bit of a B play for Vitality. Solo up here. Flamey's gone aggressive, and he's got a kill off the back of the flash. He pre aims the position that Mizuta strafes into, and Vitality, two men down in the blink of an eye. The young gun's gone from this side, and now it's down to the old guard of Shox, Apex, and RPK to pick up the pieces of this round to lead at the end of the first half. A three on five, certainly not an easy feat. Shox has an open spawn dropped over, I imagine from the mid spam, and he's gonna throw a bit of an Xbox smoke down as well. Rest of Vitality working out long. Shocks can flash his position, but Na'Vi are actually double cat right now. They're not even interested in long. They'd rather leave that open and just play for retake on this A site, knowing they can put up fights on this cross. Well, Shox is undoubtedly into spec Zaiwu a lot in this position, so he's very attuned with what his role is in this round. He's holding down his pit position, and with these mollies, you know, maybe there's a chance that Vitality can get the bomb planted for long and really try and set Shox up in this round. Instead, they've got to go for the save plot, and you know, you understand why. They're in a three on five, they don't have any control anywhere else. However, this does mean that Shox, he's not useless in this round, but for him to find effect is going to hinge on these players in the site staying alive. And so ideally, they're hoping that Shox can, can kind of be that first point of contact over here towards Long. I'm ticking away from Na'Vi. RPK putting up the first, Apex to follow, and now as Na'Vi try and pick up the pace, they deal with everyone. They shut this round down, and a defuse... Uh, uh, simple, simple in the kit. Simple. Simple's gotten on it, and Ooh, there should I be... I think he's got, got yeah, it. he's got that. That's few, fine. That's few. fine. Oh, it's all fine. Boy, oh boy, do we have a series on our hands. Na'Vi, 8-7 up at the end of the first half of play in a game where they once led 7-2. So... I think we got to give some props to Team Vitality for getting this one back so close. Now moving into the second half of play, and Na'Vi beginning this T side, and looking to lock in a third map. Thus far, Vitality have won every pistol round in this series, and with that first kill going their way, they're, they're looking to repeat that success. As I choke, let's see if Na'Vi do the same in this round. <coughs> well, Shox is getting absolutely spammed up in B by Perfecto, but he's actually going to leave the site there. Shoxy down to 15 with a flashbang. Apex has a kit in this round, so they can play retake. Look at Vitality swarming the B bomb site. They've read Na'Vi's rotation very well. Apex is here. They're actually going to use their flash early before Na'Vi commit. And so now, Vitality are going to have no use for the retake. Mizuta is going to get that info, but he might also get a bullet to his face. He's not clear in the corner, and he doesn't. Spotting the bomb and two here for Na'Vi, not the third. They don't know the boomers is here as well. So here come Na'Vi and in with the entries. Perfecto with a big kill, opening up this B-bomb site. The cross spam doesn't work. And Vitality, man, they have the setup, they have the read, and they just give this one away to Na'Vi. Retake's still doable with the kit, but you're going to need to hit some bangers with shots, and that electronic just won't let it happen. I feel like Vitality really gave that one away there. Maybe doubting themselves on that B-read, but... Yeah, e you know, even the push towards tunnel, maybe a bit much. Nine seven for Navi back up in the lead here. This bodes well for Navi, considering that's their first pistol round in the entire series, and we're two maps deep. So yeah, Navi 
in a position where maybe they can take a bit more of a lead and lock us in a third. Overpasses that final map, a map that both these teams have played four times and won twice apiece. So we don't have a lot of data to work off, and I think that makes that third map even more exciting. Who's been putting in the, mo the most work? It's a question that we might get answered later if Vitality let this one slip, though, because right now they're still gunning for a 2-0 and pushing the tunnels with a lot of information in this round. You'll notice Electronic has just left T-Spawn, and that's as this flank is coming through. Electronic stop, it, stop considering it, but Simple gets the entry onto A, and that's going to push Na'Vi closer into the site. Oh, RPK is waiting, playing the trigger discipline on this wrap round, and there is only one kill for him to find here, but he should have it dead to right. And that will be Electronic getting mopped up there. So a four on four. Now Na'Vi know about this long flank. Apex trying to land some chance no scopes. It would look cool, but sadly, that's not enough to make them connect. Wish it was. Docs, however. Okay, Simple's gonna respond with one, but it's all left onto Boomich with just two points of health and Ooh. one shot's all that's oh, needed dear. to deal with him, and they do. It's gonna be a force by victory here from Team Vitality in this second round. Na'Vi, they find their first pistol round in this series and they lose the follow-up in the second so bit of a classic harry yeah and now these force by wars they're set to continue this stack over in the a site works wonders and that's one of the problems with uh, with rpk's flank right it just enabled you to fully stack that side yeah. of the map you know that they're coming from long because you have cleared everywhere else look at this tech nine <laughs> and they're making a comeback what year is, this? is the year of the tech yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy as well, the fact that, yeah, you know, the flank's coming in that gives the info for Vitality, but think about that first fight. Simple removes Zywoo at the site, and, you know, Na'Vi, a man up. Okay, yeah, they're walking into a stack with a flank, but, you know, there's only pistols up for Vitality, and Shark's just mows them down with a P2K, or P250, rather. Yeah, man, you said, like, what year is it as well? Like, we had a stat brought up by, uh, by early, earlier on that... Uh, it was to do with like courage and simple and how him and Apex yeah, played game. right and and it got me thinking about like some of the highlights we've seen and I remember like with this courage squad like think it even had like blade on it alongside simple yeah. right and I remember like you know I'm trying to think what event it was I think it was like an early star series or something like that there's like this sick clip of screen just popping off wrecking simple ah. wrecking blade 85% headshot ratio or something ridiculous. Back when you used to be able to get uh, away with that. Yeah, and no, it's, it's just, it's so weird. Like, you, you look at this now, right? And you've got, like, Simple in this Na'Vi squad. You've got, like, some familiar faces still around him and the same for Vitality. But just think, like, there's a lot of new generations here in the server right now, even. And uh, the players that were good back then maybe aren't so much nowadays. Or coaches. Yeah. In Blade's example. So yeah. still still here, still alongside Simple, still coaching the team and, you know, providing uh, impact in that sense. Well, like the era where, where like, Scream was just like, it, the, yeah. the guy feels like it Until was so long ago nerf, now. Right? So, yeah, it, it's so, I don't know, man. I, I love thinking about how much Counter-Strike's changed. Maybe not the game itself, but more the, the players around it. The scene. Right now, Vitality, they have seen Na'Vi at the top of middle, and they're going to be chasing them down. Look at this anti-eco, no fear for Vitality. And these are the kind of rounds that we didn't even really see from Na'Vi, right? Like, Vitality are just so confident, and seconds into the round, they got the bomb. They're in T-Sport, they're killing Boomich out long doors, and yeah, just a mop up. All the money made off of those SMGs, four out of the five kills from them. And Vitality not only taking the lead, but a huge economical advantage. Now, here's the big question, Harry. Running those SMGs, do they want to continue? They have the money. They don't need to. But uh, it might be tempting considering, you know, playing close to the SMG, going close towards the long doors, using your utility to get there, and then killing a rifle, getting an AK upgrade. Like, that's a, a massive benefit. So Vitality, they're going to hang on to these, uh, these low weapons. See what they can do with them though. Actually, some swapping going on. RPK takes it away from Apex as they set up towards long with that Molotov. Mizut is pushing B again, and uh, deep grenades going through, not doing too much. B push here would be a very dangerous decision to start the round, but Vitality, they don't care about the danger. They've pushed long as well. They're just trying to take map control, and uh, Navi have had to give it away. Flash up cap for Flamey. It's going to try and set Electronic up in short side. RPK still a long, not too committed here. He can back out of this position. But right now, the only backing out is Na'Vi as Flamey leaves long, goes to group with his teammates up on the catwalk. And again, we could have a world where RPK comes in on a big flank. Less likely than he just stays in this position and tries to assist and, and deal with a potential lurk of Na'Vi. 
But once that bomb goes down on A, RPK is going to be useless with this SMG from long. So they really need to force some fights. And Zywoo's done a great job with a flashbang from Apex. Both players fully white. And Zywoo removes them from the round. Oh dear, oh dear. Na'Vi, a three on five. And they've barely even got to play this round. Yeah, and you look at the actual map control they, they own, and, and they don't really have oh. too many options. They've even lost a man at Brutal. long doors. And so this is really hamstrung Na'Vi to have to group up over here at the catwalk. Apex has heard this rotation in from Perfecto, so he's calmed for the quick rotate out from B. Oh, wow. Na'Vi are getting collapsed onto, and Ooh. Perfecto with a quick flick back round. Winnable. And a follow up into the site. Come on then, let's get the ball rolling. Simple and Perfecto. The tag team have to try and see this one through to the end. It's simple. Hello. We'll deal with the first, oh. but quick as you like. There's the trades from the last two remaining players for Vitality. Na'Vi, they get it close. They put up a hell of a fight in the 2 on 5 but it's not enough to find the round. And now 11 on the board for Vitality. Really starting to cement this lead and looking to 2 0 the series. Perfecto, Ooh. man. Like, that that's wild. That's actually nuts. He does a little nice uh, double 180 number for us. Yeah, it just continues to spray. It doesn't even let go of the uh, mouse one. And that's a big round for Vitality, right? Because not only are they getting away with those two SMGs that upgrade into AKs, and now Zaiwu has the orb, but Na'Vi, they get a bomb plant. But other than that, they're fairly broke. They got Galils, and Zaiwu will happily fight Galils on long. He's got two. Going to get flashed back in. Player has crossed out. That's simple. And Zaiwu doesn't know. Simple also doesn't know Zaiwu's still here, so he's just tucked for the time being, but he's going to go out wide for the fight, and Simple will have the advantage here, you would think, unless Zaiwu expects it, and Simple certainly will. He rids RPK of the round. Zaiwu not going to go back in. I think re-aggressing here, even with flashbangs, is such a dangerous decision against Simple. Vitality, they got those kills, they got good control, give it up. Boomich makes a jump, oh no, he gets hurt. Vitality weren't even considering this position, and now not only do they consider it, they get the bomb. Perfecto, clearing out lower. Mizuta swap sides, Perfecto doesn't know. And now he's got to try and get control of this package. Luckily, Simple's coming from the spawn. Mizuta knows that timing. He needs to get aggressive. And he's dealt with that one man, leaving Simple alone, back into his spawn in a one-on-three. His first job, get back the bomb. Yeah, and that's the first mission on a pretty lengthy operation here for Simple. He's going to try and retrieve this bomb and then has to navigate a 1v3. With two players in these upper tunnels, it's going to be hard for Simple. Apex available to trade with old mate Masuta. His bomb retrieved. Simple going to drop a smoke to cover him from the lower tunnels. Still trying to fight his way into this B bomb site, but with two players here, they double peek him, they swing, and it's Masuta delivering three kills in that round there. When he joined this team, you know, like they, they weren't looking to pick up uh, a, a big time fragger necessarily, right? Masuta definitely didn't look like he was outputting the most incredible numbers early on, but as we've seen him adapting and, and you know, getting used to this level of play, right, in a team environment, he's been looking better and better. He was the, the, the frag leader back on Nuke. Yeah. And here, he, you know, isn't isn't topping the charts with the kills, but he's getting a lot of impact from the kills that he is finding. And it feels like he doesn't feel scared to, to make individual plays as well, which is the hallmark of a good player. You know, if you know when when you can get away with something and, and you achieve that and you find two kills and then you get out safely, like, you know, finding that gap and exploiting it against a team like Na'Vi, against tier one opposition, is something that, you know, is, is very impressive for such a young and inexperienced player. Right now, Vitality, well, actually, okay, going back to this point I made earlier in the first half, Na'Vi, they put up a great CT side, they look fine. They're, they're, you know, they're in control somewhat. Eight rounds, and, you know, I said, okay, Dust is a different map, but think back to Nuke, think back to the T side, think back to how lost Na'Vi looked and how they barely got anything done there. We're having the same case here on Dust. Despite it being a different map, Na'Vi find the pistol round, Vitality forced them with P250s, and then go on a five-round winning streak on this CT side. Na'Vi have not broken that streak and won't be breaking it, not here, not now, not with Deagles. This should be 39 for Vitality if all things go to plan. And then Na'Vi will have, what, one, maybe two buy rounds left in this map to actually contest this scoreline. This is a rough performance for Na'Vi right now, and only, you know, off the back of Vitality's very, very well played CT sides here. And that was the story back on Nuke as well, right? Like the the CT half looked pretty pretty even. But yeah, Vitaly, they're doing a stellar job here. Set up a cat, the flash is oh, good. Perfecto hey. and simple. Gonna chain together two kills. Zai Wu 
Getting pressured. Only eight seconds oh. for this bomb plant. And Zai Wu is not faltering. Simple gonna start plugging in the numbers. Zai Wu trying to land the shot. And instead, he's gonna kill everyone oh. else. And Simple as well. Zai Wu, Stella round. My goodness, four kills there from him. What a play, what a man. Zai Wu with the defuse. 27 kills in the game right now, and he comes alive. I thought I jinxed it, Harry. I did say Na'Vi shouldn't win that round, but for a second, they had everything in their hands. Zai Wu, the fact that he gets away with his second kill here, he waits, he waits, and he knows he needs to kill Flamey before he refaces the site. Otherwise, he's going to get shot in the back. And well, Zai Wu, it looked like for a second he wanted to wallbang default and kill Simple on the other side, but he fell off the box. Luckily, it wasn't a problem. He finds both kills there, and Na'Vi... I mean, it's still a bomb plot, still a successful eco round, but one now that they need to win. If they want to have any say in this series, Zai Wu is just not letting that happen. He falls out right as simple scopes up. Apex has been dropped on Cat. Electronic did find that kill, so there's something here for Na'Vi, but the flash has come through and Flamey abandons Long. Not going back into that AWP. Zai Wu, reflash by RPK, clears out Long once again, carrying the blue bins. He has a molly for it, but no one's here for Na'Vi. They've spread out, they've split up, they've gone back into a default with players in the tunnels and Perfecto coming from T-Spawn to join. And Bomb is still in middle, but with a 4-on-4 four four enabled, Vitality aren't fighting for mid anymore, they're just playing in the bomb sites. Vitality not giving them anything right now. Yeah, Na'Vi are very, very paranoid about any aggression coming through. And so they're just sitting back there, waiting as well, hoping that a man advantage is gifted over. And that's not going to happen. Vitality are really going to make you work to get back into this one. Now they set up over here on Cap. Electronic is over in the tunnels. And this is likely where he's going to stay. Try and cut down these rotations while the rest of Na'Vi Oof. set up for the camp play off. Not okay. a good volley. <laughs> Trying to play around this Molotov that was thrown out by his teammate, I think. Yeah. I think that was Zaiwu throwing yeah. that one over. So, not ideal, but they get out through camp. Once again, left down to the wire. Zaiwu and RPK, they could deny this whole round if they find the right kills at the right time. But they've lost Zaiwu. RPK now going to swing Ooh. out and he secures a double. Bomb that's gets bomb. dropped back at Cat, and that's a bit of a disaster. That's the round. Oh, there's not enough time. Oh, no, there is. There might be. It's very, very close, and I think they've just got it. They do. <gasps> By half a second, they get that bomb down. It was so close. Shox is aggressive in through CT, and now only Electronic left to deal with. He Molotovs the bomb to buy himself some time. Nade to follow, but Shox is just holding an Electronic tagged up early oh. on in the round. The Nade could have finished the job. Shox is going to throw it in. Bye bye. Electronic gets deleted, and there's the defuse. Vitality, they get a 14th on the board. Well played by Shox yeah. in the one on two, and a stellar double from RPK to get that round so close. That was actually really well played from Shox. He was waiting, he knew Flamey was planting in that position, and Shox, he could either jump and give away his position and try and gamble for the round. If he hits it, he wins the round, right? But the alternative is uh, is, is his teammate, or sorry, his teammate dies in mid, and Na'Vi have a guy in mid, and he realizes there's someone in CT. So instead of sta uh, just hanging around and waiting for Flamey to stand up so he can take that headshot, he backs up, he plays the fact that Na'Vi don't know where he is, and he wins the one on two in style. Shox, Putting up another round for Vitality. A flawless streak here, Harry. Seven in a row on the CT side. It's Nuke all over again. Na'Vi looked lost on the T half of that map, and here is no exception. They have not fielded a round since the pistol. And it was pistols that put them down 7-0 in the CT side. RPK, he could get flashed up on Catwalk. Apex has line one up, but RPK timing is everything. He needs to call for it right now. That's a great timing. RPK trying to get aggressive. He gets one, almost a second of spray, puts Boomits low and the Molotov sends him packing. That's still a favorable, a favorable fight for Vitality. They get good info and Apex wants more. Yeah, he's hungry for it, but getting spotted by the player in lower tunnels, that will facilitate the swing in from Boomich. So Na'Vi finally sat with a man advantage in a four on three, admittedly with low players. And Zai Wu ready to peek the cap. Oh, gets a little overzealous there. <laughs> Does still remove Flamey even while being blind, but it's Boomich in with the third, continuing this tear up through Cat that has secured the A bomb site. Masuta and Shox left in for the clutch. Smoking a fall over here at Catwalk. That nade could delete Boomage. Doesn't quite find him at the back of the site. Electronic holding down long, able to uh, come out over the top of Shox. 
Leaves Masuta just saving this AWP. Na'Vi, they'll reach double digits now as well. 10 to 14. Still a tall task to get back into this game, but definitely not impossible for the Na'Vi side. Yeah, sometimes it just takes one round, right, to just you know, reinvigorate you, remind you what works, how you get there. And obviously, I feel like that round's a little gifted by Vitality, the fact that they send three waves of cat players, but they don't uh, at any point set up, like, you know, uh, a crossfire or a double peak or anything. They just, like, put... You throw bodies at the problem one by one, and Na'Vi just deal with them, right? It starts off by being a fair trade. Vitality get one for one, and then the next fight, they get nothing, and then the next fight, Zaiwu again gets one. But it's just giving trades for Vitality to get up Catwalk and succeed in that A-bomb site, or for Na'Vi, rather. So, 10-14. That's the second T-sided round, their first since the pistol. So, Na'Vi, can they find more of the back of it, or will they be broken? immediately after finding uh, a round. So, Zaiwu, he wants to make it so. He's nearing the 30 bomb. He's got the AWP once again. Flash through long doors. RPK can't stop it. He has to concede this position. Na'Vi are hunting him down. With a smoke on the corner, spam through it down to one. RPK lives to fight another day, but Zaiwu certainly won't. Electronic gimping in the smoke, hiding around the side. And Apex does trade, keeping things alive for Vitality. Yeah, but... Barely, right? Like with the uh, RPK so low and Apex trapped out on cat, Ooh. there's no one holding onto the site. And with Perfecto holding for this cat cross, he's going to get offered a kill. And he gets the information that a second player is here as well. RV, now with a minute left, they don't even have to commit to this A side play. They're going to leave simple here. Over at long with the AWP, and actually now grouping back up, they do still want to commit into this A bomb site. Apex has moved in behind the site box. It's going to drop a smoke. Is this something that we see uh, Team Spirit do a hell of a lot with Magics in this position? But Apex never drops the smoke, swings out wide and does get bested. So this round's fallen apart. Na'Vi going to take an 11th and maybe that one mm. round to reach 10 was what they needed after all. It's now the success keeps on flowing for Na'Vi. Yeah, that certainly could be the solution, right? couple of rounds in a row now, Na'Vi building money, and that just certainly makes things harder for Vitality, because it's not going to be in a world where, you know, you win one round and then you close an anti-Force Buyer, an anti-Eco to, to win the series. No, Na'Vi are going to have back-to-back -back rifle rounds despite you, you know, winning any of your own. And Vitality, they're not exactly rich right now. Shox saves this gun, but look at the money on the rest of the team. And I say Shox saves this gun. Shox is trying to save this gun. Perfecto doesn't want to allow it, but won't com commit to the T-spawn wrap. And so this gun will get away. Lives oh, no, forget it. Shox fights and he dies. That's a great one tap from Perfecto. He is top of the team right now. Two kills above simple. Vitality, after losing that gun, after losing everything in this round, including the money, they're going to call a quick pause. Oh, that's a pretty grim start there. Doesn't surprise me, especially considering how dominant that map was. You know, with the rest of Na'Vi showing up and it not just being a simple show. I don't know, man. I still think there's some legs on this game. Yeah, yeah. 11 absolutely. to 14. No money in these bank accounts over on the Vitality side. So this should be Na'Vi making this one even closer. And this is, again, something we talk about a lot, Harry, when we see Apex as an in-game leader for Vitality. Now, this is a big problem for Apex. It has, you know, new in-game leader, relatively speaking, and now needs to dig Vitality out of a hole. Now, the scoreline doesn't look like a hole, but the reality is Vitality are very much in a hole. Back-to-back -back rounds for Na'Vi. Imagine a third here. And Vitality only just having enough money for that buy in the follow-up. So right now, Apex needs a big call in that follow-up round for Vitality to actually succeed. Otherwise, Na'Vi do not count them out here. Five rounds in a row to take them to overpass. Absolutely doable here for a squad like this. Vitality know the pressure is well and truly on. Na'Vi, they've really slowed it down, right? And a lot of these pushes are just coming down to the final 20 seconds. And 
Vitality this time around already giving them these early engagements that they've been doing a hell of a lot. And I hope that's something we see carry forward into the rifle round for Vitality here with only the pistols. This is where they should get mopped on up. And while a few kills do come through, Electronic just spearheading this charge into the A site has taken heads off. And Masuta Ooh. unable to find this shot the first time oh! around. But now he's recovered. Shocks alongside him. Masuta now in this 1v2 who does spot Electronic, but it's the ace from this man to put the 12th round on the board for Na'Vi. That still gets very, very close. It still gets uncomfortable. With Electronic starting to come alive and carving a path in this round, Na'Vi, they are able to win it out and get this one over the line. Oh, that was so close for Mizuta. The fact that he, he hesitates on that second kill, kill, he flicks and gets the headshot with the last bullet. Mm, nice stuff, but not enough for Vitality. This round has to be, as it's going to be one of their last couple of rifle rounds in regulation, assuming. A lot of assumptions to be made here. We don't know where this one's going. Are Na'Vi going to have the answers here as they look to find a few rounds? Like, well, here's that smoke get dropped. He knows, therefore, where that player has to be, but he can't hit the wall bang onto Electronic. He does get up a catwalk with that smoke safely. Apex playing very safe inside of the site, not wanting to die to an aggressive Na'Vi T side. But as you said, Harry, Vitality, they want to do their best at denying Na'Vi's amount of advantages. It's often been four on fours. It's often been Vitality throwing someone up cat or pushing tons, getting a kill and getting traded. Well, right now, five on five, keeping everyone alive. And Apex, he's going to be uh, up for the final test here. It's a fake for Na'Vi. And Apex should be able to con this. He's realized everything. Not, uh, Vitality now watching for the mid to B. Shox is here. Apex is dropped into spawn and gets removed after only finding a dink to Boomage. They're going to slow things right down right now because they don't have to commit me into B. There's a flash here. Mizuta's waiting in the smoke. What a risk as Perfecto could just spam him and take the round. Flamey's also got in a kill and Navi has just stopped. This is very weird. They've got huge advantages and they're about to get another. Mizuta doesn't check the corner and Perfecto almost follows up into B but actually Shox holds down the line with two and that's going to send the bomb back into Zaiwu. Now, Boomich is down in CT, but with 20 seconds left, he's going to be hard-pressed to find much usage out of this position, and Shox could just wrap him and deal with this threat right oh, now. Indeed dear. he does. They lose Zywu. Flamey with one HP. The bomb performer in this oh, round no. taps him down. Bomb plant for Simple. Shox has to ace this one if he wants to pick it up, but dealing with Simple Ooh. is easier said than done. Na'Vi just about get another round on the board. 13 to their name. It's almost the recovery on the back of Shox's performance here. But Vitality, all this momentum they had, everything that was looking so good, I mean, it just seems like it's powered down and, and it's taking, you know, great individuals, uh, great individual performances to leave these rounds ever feeling doable. Yeah, one thing that's a real problem for Vitality oh. right now, well, I was going to say Mizuta, and yeah, in this round, ex uh, exactly. But uh, every time he's pushed B tunnels, pretty much he's been punished for it, unless he's had a teammate alongside him. So I'd love to see him just stop pushing tunnels in these mid rounds, trying to get information, trying to get back in uh, control. But if if anything, staying alive and playing for the clutch as a B player, playing with shocks to retake that round, for example, it's far safer. It's going to get you a lot more results than, you know, risking everything just to take tunnels, especially what? when Na'Vi have been so mobile yeah. and rotating that bomb. And, and not to mention, right, like, this is a this is a classic Na'Vi style of play, right, where they do just slow down and they wait for you to come to them. And I feel like if you keep coming to them well then they keep you know, waiting for you yeah exactly and and no one can really beat navi at that game that is what they're very very good at uh, on, on top of that right the decision to keep pushing b feels like a bit of a mystery because i almost wonder like when you're in a three on five what are you kind of hoping for like either you get the info that it's clear okay that it allows a full rotation right but like the other scenario and the more likely scenarios we've seen in every one of these rounds yep. is that there is just a player holding it. Because once they're in the five on three, Na'Vi aren't feeling pressured to pick up the pace anymore. And in this round, it's an A play. And Na'Vi, they haven't cleared anywhere else on the map. So they are walking into this stack, but it gets pretty much dissolved immediately. Everybody falls and now Na'Vi tie this up at 14 all. They have recovered this game. They are back in the driver's seat. One final investment from Vitality as they try and keep their heads above water in this in this map. They might get drowned in the dust, Harry, and take us to overpass Na'Vi. They have come alive in these last few rounds. Five in a row after a streak of seven from Vitality. So Na'Vi are trying to one-up them right now. And this could be doable. Simple with the auto-sniper 14-14.
removes Apex through the door. He will bang Mizuta out in the previous round. Simple is not playing. He is not messing. He is here to win. And Na'Vi, they might just be in that very position. Oh my. Boom, it's through a smoke as well. Electronic one tapping RBK. Harry, I think we're heading to a third. Oh, it certainly feels like it. It's like all the stars have aligned for Na'Vi all of a sudden. And now Masuta and Sharks left at the B site. They're going to try and save, but Na'Vi, they will come and hunt you. They will try and take these guns away. They know this is all Vitality are really going to have to work with in this coming round. And so, you know, with, with the last round being the last round of play regardless, you are hunting this every day of the week. And you could already see the Na'Vi... Attack dogs have been let loose to try and sniff out these saving players. Masuta and Shocks. Can they get away with these guns? It's going to be so important that they do. And this swing from Masuta nets in that kill. More players coming his way, though. Masuta getting pressured has dropped the smoke in the double door. Molly at the window denies him a lot of ground. And Na'Vi, they're making this feel so claustrophobic. Oh, Masuta still going and really refusing to hand this M4 over. Oh, another oh. kill. They're still holding on. And Shox gets down another. This is the save succeeding for Vitality. They hold on. And with all those kills coming through for Masuta, he can actually drop M4s off round. He can get another gun up here, as can Shox, thanks to the loss bonus. So suddenly you've got four rifles in this round. RPK even able to invest in a Famas. And so Vitality, they've cobbled the bite together. They've got it. Let's see if they can get anything done with it now. As it's OT or bust for Vitality in a map where they have the lead for the longest while in this second half. This will be a seven round in a row comeback from Na'Vi to take us to overpass if it happens. And right now, they are just five kills away from that very point. The flash is good, but the shot is not. RPK whiffs and Apex gets one, but Zyru has to fall back to watch Cat. He's not ready. Electronics gone through the smoke. No fear for Na'Vi as they set up towards A and set up a third map in this series. Mizuta and Shox, they've been held down from this position every time they tried to cap flank perfective giving away his position but he gets one and almost doubles down shocks run through the molly for the trade but at what cost a one-on-three for the map and look at electronic yeah electronics